Kia ora, Nine. In this video, I'm going to go over what we did online for those of you in yesterday's online lesson with how to multiply numbers when there are decimals. I'm going to go through two different written methods and we'll see which one you like the best. So the first thing I'm going to do with 57 times 24 is I'm just going to do this using the old fashioned method that your parents were probably taught and that some of you will have learnt at primary school. So we've got 57 times 24. Now this first example I'm going to do without explaining why it works first, so just, just watch what I do. I go 4 times 7 is 28. I write, write down the 8 and I carry over the 2. 4 times 5 is 20, plus the 2 gives me 22. So I write down 22. Next I'm multiplying by this 2 here, which means 2 tens. I put a 0 down here to, to times everything by 10. So now I have 2 sevens are 14. I write down the 4. And I carry the 1. 2 5s are 10, plus the 1 gives me 11. Now I add up what I've got. 8, 6, 3, 1. So 57 times 24 is equal to 1,368. I'm going to do another example now where I talk a bit more about why it's all working as I do it. So let's do 67 times 24. Well, it's nearly the same as the last one. Okay, that, that's okay. Right, so four sevens are 28. Now I write down the 8. I don't write down 28 because I can't fit more than up to 9 in a place value column. That's how our um, number system works, right? The highest digit that I can squeeze in here is 9. So I can't put down the whole 28. I have to say the two tens and the 28 are going to be linked in to the next step. So now I've got 4 times 6, which is 24 plus the 2 extra from before. So 4, 6 is 24, plus 2 gives me 26. So why does this work? Well, in here, that 6 means 6 tens. 4 lots of 6 tens is 24 tens, plus the 2 extra tens from the start is 26 tens. And now down here, when I'm multiplying by the 2, I'm really multiplying by 20. So by putting this 0 here, it means that all of those place values get shifted along, right? So we looked at this in our very first lesson on number, that if I want to times by 10, if I've got five ones, times and by 10 means that it, it becomes 50, right? So it moves place value column. So when I do this written method, all of this place value stuff is happening without us thinking about it, right? So two sevens are 14, I have to carry the one. So two sixes are 12 plus one gives me 13. And you can see, whoops, that when you do this method, you can get really, really fast at it. And if you ask your parents, or especially your grandparents, they will be fast at this method. But it's a bit slow when we start doing it, so you have to just be patient with yourself. But now I'm going to teach you another way to do it that also uses place value. And this is called the lattice method. And I'm going to start with this question here, and then I probably will also do the 67 times 24 one. Okay, so writing this looks a bit funny to start with. So here's 57 times 24. We're going to draw out some rectangles. And we're going to put some bowling lanes in them for place value. We'll see how it works in a minute. Now we write in what we want to do here. Here's 57 times 24. Now all of the place value when we do it this way comes out through the bowling lanes. First, all we have to do is we multiply these numbers. So 5 times 2 gives me 10. 1, 0. 7 times 2 gives me 14. 5 fours gives me 20. 7 fours gives me 28. Now let's make our bowling lanes even clearer and just see what's going on here. Now we're going to add up everything that's in the same bowling lane because that is giving me the place value that we want. So here we've just got 8 in that lane. So we'll write the 8 down here. Here we've got 4 plus 2 gives me 6. And next we've got 1 and 2, which gives me 3. And lastly, we've got 1. And you can see that we've got our answer around the side here, 1368. So 57 times 24 is equal to 1368. Let's try our next example, 67 times 24. 
So 67 times 24. So you pause, pause your video now and try and do this one before I do it. Let's set up our grid. 67 times 24 goes like this. 67 here, 24 here. Right, and off we go again. 6 twos are 12, 7 twos are 14, 6 fours are 24, 7 fours are 28. Right, now we do our bowling lanes. We've got 8 here. Now this time we're going to have to carry because we've got 4 and 2 is 6 and 4 is 10. We can't fit 10 into our place value lane. We can just put down the 0 and carry over the 1 to the bigger place value column. So now we've got 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 2 plus 1 gives me 6. And here we've got 1. So 67 times 24 is equal to 1608. Now I don't know about you, but I actually find that method faster than doing it this way. But it will depend. If you've done this way heaps, definitely stick with this way. It's a great method. But the lattice method is a pretty easy one if you're learning a written method for the first time. Okay, so I've got I've used up six minutes of this video. I do want to show you how this works with decimals as well. But I want us to look to start by looking and estimating what we think the answer is going to be before I start teaching you some short ways to do this. So if we look at 5.7 times 2.4, we've already worked out the answer to 57 times 24. And we can see that somehow these, these numbers have got to be related, right? So let's look at what's going on in here. 5.7 is equal to 57 divided by 10, right? Because you can see that the place value has all been shifted across once. So here's 5.7, 5.7, and here's 57, right? So everything's been times by 10 when we go up to 57. So 5.7 is 57 divided by 10. And 2.4 is 24 divided by 10. So when we're looking at the link between these two things, we can do that explicitly, slowly to start with, and then we're going to get faster at it. So 57 times 24 was equal to 1,368. Now, 5.7 times 2.4 has got to be equal to a little bit more than, than 10, right? Because we've got 5 point something times 2 point something. So it's going to be somewhere between, I don't know, 10 and maybe 15. So if you think about that, you can just about see your answer coming out in here, that it's going to be 13.68, right? But we can also see it if we go more slowly. We've got 5.7 is 57 divided by 10 times 24 is 20, uh, 2.4 is 24 divided by 10. So putting that all together, remember that the order of operations doesn't matter for multiplication and division. 57 times 24 divided by 10 divided by 10. And that's the same as 57 times 24 divided by 100. Now, we've got 1,368, 1,003, sorry, 1,368. If we want to divide that by 100, everything moves over two place values. So that becomes 13.68. Now if you need to do that more slowly, use a place value column like this. It's thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Here's my decimal point. Here's one tenth, one hundredth. Right, we've got 1,368. We want to divide by 100. So we have to come over two place value columns for everything. One, three, point six, eight. So there you go. Right, so but we don't want to have to think about that every single time we do a decimal problem. So let's look at when we do written methods, how we can do more complicated ones like this. The first step is to estimate always. Right, so let's go back to the start and see which ones I said I'd do. Well, we've done 57 times 24. It feels like we've done it about five times. We're going to look now at how we can do this one right from the start, and then this one, and then this one. Okay, so this is an extension of our lattice method with the bowling lanes. So 5.7 times 2.4. Suppose that we hadn't already done it and seen that we had 1368 in our answer. 
Well, we can just set this up like we did before. Only this time, we're going to have some decimals, 5.7 times 2.4. But we proceed as we did before. 5 twos are 10, 7 twos are 14, 5 fours are 20, 7 fours are 28. Now, let's make our bowling lanes really clear and do our adding up. We've got 8, 6, 3, and 1. Here comes the call bit. Make your bowling ball, your decimal points really big, right, and treat them like ping pong balls, right. So this one comes down here, this one comes in here. The ping pong balls meet, and then they go whoosh down the slide, and that's where our decimal place is going to end up. Right, so 5.7 times 2.4 is equal to 13.68. Now, some of you are probably watching and going, oh, I don't like it when she teaches us just magic tricks. I don't like teaching you magic tricks either. But this works because of how the place value is working. So what happens when I'm, um, when I'm doing this thing with the ping pong ball meeting here and moving it down to here is that I'm effectively taking the 57 and I'm dividing it by 10 for this one. And then I'm taking the 24 here, and I'm dividing that by 10. So what's happening when I'm moving my ping pong ball over to here is that it really started off here, right? When I had 57 times 24, I had 1, 3, 6, 8. 1,368. But I need to be dividing by 100, right? So that's what's happening here when it moves over this way. Okay, so it seems like magic. It's not magic. It's the magic of our place value system. Okay, I'm going to do another one now, or you're going to do another one. Let's try 6.8 times 7.3. So we set it up like this. 6.8, 7.3. Put in your lanes. Now this one's going to have carrying in it, but it's not too bad. Right, off we go with the multiplication. Six sevens are 42. Eight sevens are... 56. 8 threes are 24 and 6 threes are 18. Okay, doing our lanes, we've got 4 here, we've got 8 and 2 is 10 plus 6 is 16. We have to carry the 1. 1 and 1 is 2, 2 and 2 is 4, 4 and 5 is 9. And lastly, we've got 4 here. Right, there's my first decimal point ping pong, ping pong to here and then down the slide. So my answer is. 49.64. Right, I think that's probably enough. Let's see if I've done all the questions I said. Oh, I haven't done this last one. So 49 times 37.3. Let's just finish off with practicing that one. And I'm going to do that one using the lattice method as well. So 49 times um, 37.3 needs to have a bigger grid, but it still works. So this time... The grid will look like this. Forty-nine here, and I'm going to put my decimal here because I still need it, right? So it's actually thirty-nine point forty-nine point zero. Whoops, this should be thirty-seven point three. Four threes are twelve. Nine threes are twenty-seven. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Seven nines are sixty-three. Four threes are twelve. Three nines are twenty-seven. Right. We've got 7 here, 7 here, 1 and 8 is 9, 15 and 20 and 17 and 7 is 22, carry the 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 is 8, and then we've got 1. Right, now we should be able to estimate this before we go, that it's, we're going to want to have, so it's roughly 50 times 40, so it's going to be nearly 2,000. So we kind of know where the decimal should go, but let's do it with the ping pong balls. So here's the first one, goes down to here. And the second one's here already, and then we go down that slide, and sure enough, there's my decimal point here. So, what do we end up with? 49 times 37.3 is equal to 1,827.7. Right, 20 seconds left to go, not bad. I will do another video later on how to multiply really big numbers with really small numbers. Thanks for watching.